No, you know they say the ladies like a long tool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, they got like this one. Now, don't don't tell me this is dangerous. You know why? Because I know better. I got a sign up there. Okay, guys, it's another day in the shop. Today we're going on a little trip. We need to get new tires. These are horrible. And I found a guy who was selling a whole bunch of them. Just, I guess he's a dealer or something. Pretty good deal. So we're gonna go do that. So we got the tires. They're pretty nice. Four brand new ones. I like the silver. I think the silver would look really good once I paint all this black. But here's, here they are. Eight lug, 235, 10 ply. More than enough for what I need to do. So. Tires are off, the old ones. And that was easy, because they had been off before. So I wanted to see what kind of bearings I needed to get. So let's go over here, here's the old. These are the assemblies that I bought. And hubs, along with the backing plate to bolt the uh, brakes onto the actual axles. Plus new bearings for everything. I've already got kind of a little bit done on this side because I wanted to make sure everything was going to work. I got this tacked up and back and what I'm going to do is drop these U-bolts uh, on both sides, drop the whole axle out and then weld a good bead on the back side. But everything's set up. I got this one tacked as well, but this one's put together. I need to adjust the drum brake, the spring thing, but there we go. Okay, it's been a little bit, it's hot. It's very hot. It's like 95 outside, maybe 90 degrees. Um, without this thing in the little air conditioner right there, kind of keeping this area a little cooler. Uh, no, I don't know. Moose doesn't like it. So anyway, we are now finished with this front axle. I pulled it off, completely got away from the U-bolts, and took it out, put it on top, and just welded a nice bead all the way around for the backing plates. I need to do it one more time here, and then uh, take all that apart, do the same thing. And once I get these backing plates welded on, then I am good to um, basically build the axles out for the last time. Put the dust shields back on, put the backing plates on, torque those the spec, and then once I do all that, we'll have to pack the bearings and then set the uh, lug nut or the spindle nut back. Once we get all those put together, we mount the tires and well, here's another thing. After we mount the tires, I think I might have to do a little clearancing here, which is fine. I'm not too worried about it. But other than that, uh, that's all we gotta do. So let's do it. All right. First, we gotta get a a, a break. I gotta I gotta be refreshed. Oh, that's right. It's supposed to rain today. I forgot. And so I'm mean, listening to a podcast and zoning out. Yeah, it's actually kind of crappy out. <laughs> it's so hot though. How is it? What is going on? Anyway, so let's go get a couple of refreshments and then we'll go back to work. There we go. This is what you need to survive, guys. Right here. It's the good shit. Big and strong. Also, it's a corona preventative. I decided to go in for a little bit, take a shower, kind of get this grossness off of me and reset so we can hit the rest of the axles. God, does this taste good. The beer is always awesome after a long, shitty day. It's just... It's the ultimate antidote.
I'm gonna give you kind of an overview of what I'm doing to set these plates here. I am putting everything together dry so it can, you know, cinch it down, you know, decently tight like you would torque a lug nut or a, a spindle. Pull this tight, get it to where the bottom, because you want the electromagnet to hit the bottom. So this can turn and attack it here and here. Okay, well, I've got the hubs together for the most part, but right now I'm packing the bearings. And I know a lot of people use a pairing, bearing packer, but I don't do it often enough to uh, warrant having one of those. Like last time I packed bearings was when I rebuilt the Dana 60 on the truck, the Fummins, and that was about a year ago. So maybe once a year I'll, uh, pack bearing so I'll just do it the old-fashioned way so this is basically how you do it you take a big nasty glob well, hold on one more sip before we get to it ah, all right take a big nasty glob right like that and I I'm, I'm a lefty so but you hold it like this or you get two fingers in there and basically all you do is you just work it in you just bite at it basically bite at it it's better in the palm but whatever it's in my fingers but basically just keep biting keep biting at it give it a little nibbles until you start seeing grease coming out the top and that's I don't know I've got it's a weird therapeutic thing but <laughs> basically there's grease now all the way through the rollers onto the other side you, clock it over a little bit and you keep nibbling like I said I for some reason it's really calming to me <laughs> it's like ASMR or something I don't know I enjoy it I wouldn't do it all day but I can do four bearings well no eight bearings because there's four spindles inner and outers so we'll just have to have a couple beers in between. But basically you just go all the way around and lather it up and smack it in there and torque her down. That's all you do. The spindles have been put in, uh, the cub cap thing's been put on, smashed in. I messed those up pretty good. <laughs> Full disclosure, uh, I don't really have a, I'm not, <laughs> they're bent up, but whatever. They keep the grease in, that's all I care about. So now all we gotta do with the stake pockets. That's the last little bit. I've already welded on this side and then uh, weaseled the uh, welder on the other side so I can do the rest of the stake pockets. And I added a, another gusset here, or I guess, yeah, I guess it would be a gusset. I didn't get fancy with the angles. I just did straight cut. But that gives more rigidity here. And just in general, it's better. I think what I'm gonna do, the deck is gonna be level right here. But on the tires, I might just put like diamond plate, something. So, yeah. Trailers come along though, guys. Looks beautiful.
There goes the breaker. I'm gonna call that a video, guys. It's been fun. Uh, we'll get the rest of these walled in, and then next video, I don't know. But until then, hang tight. You know, if you like this video, give your old Uncle Moose a thumbs up. How about it?